Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday's Meditation with me, Jill Pulowski. Glad to have you all here with me today. Today's meditation is going to be maybe a little challenging, um, not because it's hard or, you know, we're going to be doing any crazy physical activity. It just emotionally might be challenging to do. So today's meditation is going to be based around compassion. And I know that sometimes we feel like we have a lot of compassion in our hearts. We uh, feel bad for people when something goes wrong. We might get choked up when we see um, commercials about animals who don't have homes. Uh, and we feel that that is being compassionate, which it is. But there's a deeper compassion that involves a lot of forgiveness. And sometimes in our lives, when someone has hurt us or done us wrong or betrayed us in some way, shape, or form, we hold on to that for a very, very long time. Sometimes our whole entire lives. And it's very hard to visualize that person that may have hurt you, or maybe it was a job, a job that fired you for no reason, or maybe it was a teacher at school who failed you in class uh, when you thought that you were passing. Um, the grudges and the pain and hurt and heartache can be caused many different ways. Um, maybe it's a relationship. Normally, it's a relationship, um, someone who broke our heart. So today, we're going to kind of reflect on that and see if we can find compassion deep, deep in our heart uh, for ourselves, first and foremost, and then for the people, places, or things that may have hurt us in our lives. So Try as hard as you can, even if you try this compassion and forgiveness for the 25 minutes we're together, um, that's okay. You can be mad again later, but at least try to find it for now. In the meantime, we're going to warm up the body a little bit just to loosen things up so we can relax deeper into our seats and be calm and at peace as we move into our meditation practice. So let us find that seat in our chair, nice and tall at first, as we start to breathe. So always remembering to stack your head over your heart and your heart over your hips so the lungs can expand as you take those deep breaths. Relax your shoulders away from your ears so nothing's crunched up. And then let's start to breathe. So take that deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. And as we start to breathe here, inhale. We might start to feel ourselves breathing away some of that tension that we're holding in in our bodies. Right, two more big breaths. Last one. Good. Let's find some movement in the spine. So we're going to take both hands and bring it over to our lap or the arm of our chair and just kind of twist very slowly over one shoulder and start to feel a stretch in the lower back. Make sure both feet are on the ground and both hips are on your chair. And gently twist until you feel a stretch here. You might feel it in the lower back, in the rib cage, and in the shoulders. A couple deep breaths in the twist. And then we'll go ahead and switch sides, bring the hands all the way over to the other side, 
hold on to the lap or the chair and twist over the other shoulder until you feel the stretch and then breathe. Good job, come back to the center. Bring your hands to opposite elbows, hold on tight, and then we'll just kind of twist from side to side. A little quicker, you'll feel this more in the rib cage and in the upper back as you move. All right. Good job, and then come back to center, take your arms up to the air as high as you can reach, and then fold over your legs, try to reach towards your toes, stretching that lower back. So nice big stretch, it always feels good to get that lower back, especially in the morning after we wake up, it might be tight, or maybe we just have that not so good mattress that doesn't help our back at all. So that nice stretch in the lower back, oh, and then slowly come back up to your seat. Good, and then we'll take those hip circles around just to loosen it up a little bit more. Getting really into the lower back and hips. And the other direction, nice circles. All right, we are good to go. Take a deep breath in here, get some oxygen into the bloodstream. Exhale it out. And then we can relax. So go ahead, sink back into your chair. Keep the feet on the floor. We don't want to get too comfortable with crossing our legs or anything like that. So let the feet be flat so we feel grounded. And then let the arms come to your sides, either on your lap or arms of your chair if you have them. And then lean back into the chair, make sure the shoulders are supported. Maybe the head goes back if you have a higher chair like mine. Or we're just scooching down enough to support the neck as well. So find your comfortable seat. Let your body sink on in. Let your eyes gently close. You're feeling the top of the eyelid and the bottom of the eyelid gently touching. Trying to let go of any tension in the face, in the brow. Release any clenching in the brow, in the eyes, in the jaw. And keep that steady movement of breath, that inhale, Exhale. And as you breathe, allow the body to sink deeper and deeper into your seat. And slowly letting go of all tension throughout the whole body. The head relaxes, the neck relaxes. And the shoulders relax, the back relaxes, the hips the arms, the legs. Let your whole body find this nice deep place of relaxation. And as the body relaxes and we're slowly paying attention, being mindful of our breath. And we start to notice the feelings in our heart. Notice the feelings that are there in our heart of, of pain or sadness or hurt or betrayal. And 
in this moment, I want you to say to yourself in your head, I deserve to enjoy happiness. I deserve to enjoy happiness. I deserve to enjoy happiness. And then start to repeat to yourself again, I deserve to feel peace. I deserve to feel peace. I deserve to feel peace. And then say again in your mind the next three sentences is, I allow myself to forgive. I allow myself to forgive. I allow myself to forgive. And sitting here in this moment, begin to really feel those three sentences in your heart and in your mind. I deserve to enjoy happiness. I deserve to feel peace. And I can find that forgiveness. Imagine looking at yourself in the mirror, still feeling the pain, the heartache, the betrayal, whatever it is that you have here in your heart space. And look at yourself and say, these feelings, these emotions will pass. I allow these feelings and these emotions to pass. These feelings and emotions will pass. And as you feel some release of these feelings and emotions that are stuck here in your heart space, begin to allow the breath to deepen. Almost as if you were sighing those feelings out of the body, of the mind and of the heart. And let them go. And if feelings of that pain and suffering really begin to come to surface and you might feel like you want to shed tears or really scream out or any feelings like that, it's okay. Imagine in your mind that that's what you're doing. Imagine crying and getting it out. Imagine punching a pillow. Imagine screaming at the top of your lungs. Let all of that pain be released from your heart and find compassion for yourself that it's okay to hold these feelings and it's okay to let them go. Feel deep compassion for yourself in this moment, knowing that it's okay. Feel that you have gone through what you've gone through and know that you have come out stronger and you can continue that strength as you let go. You can continue that strength as you start to forgive yourself. Maybe we are angry at ourselves for not seeing the red flags or taking someone back into your life many, many times, or maybe we're mad at ourselves for being a fool, 
for not seeing that our friends or our families or our partners were hurting us. Feel compassion for yourself. And as you feel that compassion for yourself, feel as if someone or something were embracing you. Feel as if you were being hugged by the biggest, best hug that you've ever received. Allow yourself to feel that embrace, to feel that compassion, to feel that love. Let go of any blame that you ever had on yourself. And sit with that feeling for a moment. And then begin to visualize the person, place, or thing that has hurt you, that has caused you pain, that has made you hold on to these grudges, these feelings for so long. Picture them standing in front of you. Notice what you feel here in your heart and your mind at this time. And then try to do that same thing with that person. Try to feel compassion for them. Try to envision them being enveloped in that love. Maybe the reason they hurt you is because they were hurting as well. Maybe they had things going in their life that you didn't know about and they betrayed you in a way because they didn't know how else to respond. Maybe they were only thinking of themselves. So as you sit here and see this person and feel what you're feeling, try to find compassion and forgiveness for this person this place, or this thing. Notice how challenging it is and what feelings come up as you're doing this. Notice if there's pushback, 
if there's fear, if there's anger, and allow all those feelings to come to surface as you try to find that compassion. And then in your mind, say to this person, you deserve to enjoy happiness. You deserve to enjoy happiness. You deserve to find peace. You deserve to find peace. You deserve to find peace. You deserve to be forgiven. You will be forgiven. You will be forgiven. Notice how your body's feeling. Notice where the heart is. Notice if you feel any heaviness in your body. And sit with this feeling for one more moment. <clears throat> Bring your awareness now back to your breath. Feeling the inhale. Noting the exhale, breathing away any tension that might still be sitting here, breathing away any feelings or emotions that are still here in the heart and the mind. And slowly begin to come back to this space, wiggling the fingers, waking up the hands, <coughs> wiggling the toes inside of your shoes, and letting the head rock from side to side, waking up the head and the neck. Coming back up to that nice posture in your seat and sitting up tall, stacking your head over your heart and your heart over your hips. Take a deep breath in and a long, slow breath out. And feel all that weight leaving the body, falling off the shoulders. Forgiveness is not an easy thing to do. Sometimes in our lives, things happen so bad that we just cannot look through forgiveness. And we say, how can you forgive somebody for, for what they've done? I see it on TV all the time. If someone is going to jail for harming another person and then their family members say, I forgive you. And I think, how? How can they do that? It's such a horrible, tragic thing. But if we hold on to the things that have hurt us in our lives, it only makes us feel worse. 
usually doesn't affect the person that hurt us at all. They move on with their lives, they do things, and they're not thinking about us, but we spend our whole lives just dwelling on it. And it's just not worth it. It might take time. It might be a daily practice and trying to find that forgiveness day by day. But if we find compassion and love in our hearts, and we find that forgiveness deep down in our soul, then it's possible to, to let that go. And for us to live a better life, enjoying that happiness and finding peace. Thank you all for participating today. Hopefully you were able to find that in your hearts. Until next time, have a wonderful, wonderful week.